morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jerome Titaiko. My course is Bachelor of Technological Education, Major in Computer Technology. So this is my individual requirements for P4, so the, the different perspective. Among three topics, I choose only two topics that I'm going to discuss for today. So the first topic that I'm going to discuss is leadership or administrative titles. So leadership and administrative titles, it refers to the job or designation of a given person in an executive position within an organization. These include management, director, coordinator, supervisor, chairperson, and sports management. So now, let's first discuss the management. So management, it may be used intergibly with administration. So when we say intergibly, it is the way that to be exchanged. For example, the, the position, we must be to exchange the position in the organization or in the department. Or it it will be involves the recom the combination of skills related to the planning, controlling, or leading in our organization. So that's the management. Next is director. So as a director, it 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 is the head of athletic programs. So when we see at the head of athletic programs. The director, she or he is in charge in all activities in your department or in your organization that to manage or to handle it, that kind of activities. Or this include scheduling the games, hiring coaches, or provide guidance to your sports program in your organization. Next is coordinator. So, coordinator must be managed all team level, including transportation, meals, or location, or the venue of the sports, of the venue of the sports, yes. Or, and scheduling the games also, to so monitor their budget tracking and expenditure of your players. Next is, supervisor. So as a supervisor, it supervises and participates the athletic activities of your department or your organization. Also to monitor the facility maintenance and custodial operation. So that's the supervisor. Next is chairperson. So chairperson function as a manager, administrator or coordinator that to manage your organization or your department being effectively or actively and clearly to manage or being proper to manage or the chairperson must give in to appropriate uh, policy or procedures in your department that your co-workers must be follow the appropriate policies and procedures in your department. Next is sports management. And sports management lead to career opportunities in world sports or recreational. Depending on what the sports management career that interests you. So for example, if you are interested the sports volleyball so you must be uh, easy to handle that or easy to manage because you must be uh, entering that kind of games. So next, let's proceed to the next topic. So our next topic is basis or basic for philosophy in administration. So true philosophies as a student must already apply their philosophies of learning. Through the idealism, realism, pragmatism, existentialism, and eclecticism, also ethics. So now, let's discuss first the 
idealism. So in idealism, it's already talks about God. Yes. In idealism, also you think or perceive or perception. In idealism, it's already to develop our personal spiritual beliefs to the God. So that's the idealism. Now let's proceed to the realism. So realism, let's talk about the reality. So or having using our five senses. So for example, you can see the apple and you can taste it or you can touch it. So you can so you can say it's an apple. That's the reality. Because you can using your five senses. Next is pragmatism. So pragmatism, it is make the best decision or it develops our mind decide to one thing or being practical person. So in pragmatism, if you have, a, for example, you have the two boyfriends or two girlfriends in your life. Then you must be uh, choose only one. As a being practical person, you must be you must be choose only one that prefer to yourself or that importance to yourself. So that's the pr pragmatism. Next is existentialism. In existentialism, it's talk about essentials, or it's to help the person that define meaning of their lives or the direction of their lives so in this in this existentialism we can use our previous experience we have a freedom or choices of this kind of philosophies and now let's proceed to the ethics so in ethics from the word ethics the first word comes in our mind is morality because ethics it's all about the morality and behavior of a person know knowing the what is right and what is wrong before you act so that's the ethics so that's all the six uh, philosophies that we need to apply so that's will be all thank you and hope you you will be uh, satisfy my explanation today and hope that will be gain a little bit of knowledge and for your any clarifications suggestions and uh, you just uh pay me on my facebook account jerome pitaiko and or my email account text for the eight at gmail.com so thank you and god bless